All right, continuing on with our fuselage. Hopefully we can uh, get that for the most part done this uh, during this video here. So we're gonna jump back in the fuselage, and uh, we want here. Oh, and since I closed the program, it uh, lost my background. That's all right. So we want that. Adjust our zoom again. Now, I'm thinking I've got a lot of squish stuff down here and I'm not using them as much up here as I should. So I'm going to try and scoot some of this forward. Let's see, where is our gap? Right here. So I'm going to drop this. Pop this again so that it goes back to uh, just one and lock it. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Same with this one. I'm gonna unlock these because we don't actually want them that way at the moment. Uh, we can even pop that like that. Okay, back to this. There we go. And that gives us a better number of pieces here to play with. Okay, so now let's uh, let's get this more evenly set up. One thing I want to do is I'm going to take our center line here, try and draw a pretty even center. Stack something on top of it. Let's see, five, six, seven, nine. Oh, yep, right there. Let's drop that down. Something like that. Can I clear that up? There we go. Okay. Now, like I mentioned before, we can double click these so that they don't move. And since these are creating that outside shape, I'm going to do that for these. Pretty good uh, idea on our shape now.
I hope my clicking doesn't uh, drive you insane. I realize that my microphone is picking that up, and I apologize. Okay, so come back over here and look at this. And oh, it looks like we didn't set one here. that shape in a bit anyway, just to help it look better. For the moment. Something like that. So now if we go back out here, you'll notice it's starting to look uh, quite a bit smoother. A little more like uh, an airplane, except when you look at it from the top, it's still quite square. So let's work on that next. So we go back to there and back to our fuselage tab, we go here. Now we want to work on our top and bottom. So we're going to load this for top background map and top cropped right there. Well, and now you'll see I did not rotate up <clears throat> like I should have. So we'll jump back over to our project files and top cropped. I'll just do a quick rotate. Let's see, transform counterclockwise and overwrite. Close that. Come back here. Reload it. And there we go. Okay, now. We're going to want to bring all of this in here. Notice how since we're working on the top, it's going to work symmetrically, moving the other side for us, which is handy. Just a matter of getting this all uh, fit that shape that we want. This is where working in Blender is a whole lot easier. You don't have to do it one piece at a time. But your Blender model has nothing to do with how the airplane actually flies, so you have to do it here first even if it's a little more tedious. Now you'll notice that uh, my image doesn't continue on and so it's kind of a guess, but uh, there's plenty of pictures out there and and uh, you can take a fairly good uh, guess as to what that's supposed to do. Um, you don't really want any obvious zigzags in your lines there. Now notice that was the top of our airplane. Now we need to also do that to the bottom of our airplane. Most of those should uh, not need too much adjusting though. Hopefully just some of these outer edge pieces.
Now you can also see at the moment I'm kind of overlapping the last outside piece and that's because we're looking at uh, the bottom here but you can also see the top version the top piece and so we don't want to affect that outside piece of the top one until we've got everything situated quite how we want it. Okay, so now you can see that all of our shapes have gone all skitty wampus again, but that's alright. Let me take a look now. And we're getting closer. You can see that our shape isn't quite right, but uh, things are getting closer. And that's what we want. So do a quick save. Understood. Still upset that we haven't finished all our other stuff. But that's okay. Um, now we can go back into fuselage. We can go right here. And uh, so now we're looking straight at it from the front. Which I've always found to be rather difficult to work with. What I prefer to do is just go back to section here, because here we're also looking at it straight at the front, but we're looking at those specific um, stations that we've set up. Now if we go back over here to my images, my front view of this airplane, as you can see, is really quite square. So I'm going to attempt to kind of copy what I feel that should look like. I'm going to actually ellipse these first couple because it's got somewhat of a roundness to it. And then we'll take and start to square things off. And what I should have done first is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit these Now you can still actually move them, but this will work as a uh, reminder to me that that's in the position side to side that I want. So as I'm adjusting my uh, shapes, I don't want to squeeze these ones that I've locked. So we go back out here and now you can see these ones are in the spot that I want them in. So I can then take this and say, all right, this comes out along the lines of something like that. And now that's getting closer to this shape that I'm actually uh, looking for, I think. So now if we jump back out here and we take a look, you can see that things are starting starting to take a little bit more shape the way we want it and getting a little more along that square shape that we have here. Of course it looks goofy at the moment because there's also a bunch of shape that isn't where we want it. But we're getting closer and closer every step to the final shape that we're looking for. So we'll uh, just continue tweaking this and uh, actually think I will end the video right here 
I'm just going to continue to tweak this. I won't do anything um, other than tweak this without the video going. But uh, it's just kind of tedious. There's no point in uh, watching me just tweak and tweak and tweak over and over. So I'm going to tweak for a little bit and uh, we'll uh, continue on in the next video.